Today we're diving into one of Python's most overlooked but incredibly powerful built-in attributes, Dunderfile. Let's get to it. Think of Dunderfile as your Python script's personal GPS. It's a special variable that automatically holds the full path to the Python file you're currently running or importing. So why is this important? Because knowing where your script lives on the file system is crucial for everything from loading configuration files to making your application truly portable. Here we are in a file called mainscript.py. Let's print out the value of Dunderfile from here. And we see the script name under my PyCharm projects. So whether your Python file is the main script you're executing directly, or it's a module being imported by another script, Dunderfile always points to its own location. Let's add a module file, my module, and print out a string along with the value of Dunderfile. And then back in the main script, let's import that module. And now let's run that code. First thing we notice is when the module's loaded, it prints out the full path to its location. And when the print statement for the main script runs, it points to that file and its location. Super straightforward. Each file knows its own address, which is exactly what you want for modular organized projects. The most common use case for using Dunderfile is resource management. Imagine your main script needs to load a config.json file that's in a data subdirectory right next to it. You don't want to hard code the full path because that breaks when you move the project. This is where Dunderfile shines, especially with Python's modern path lib module. Using path dunderfile.parent, you reliably get the directory where your script resides. Then you can use the intuitive forward slash operator to build paths to any files or folders relative to your script. This makes your code robust and portable across different machines and operating systems. Running the code, we can see the location we built to locate our config.json file. Using the relative location with Dunderfile as our starting point. While Dunderfile is fantastic, there are a couple of crucial gotchas you need to be aware of to avoid headaches. First, let's run this code in the usual IDE like PyCharm. There's nothing magic here. We use Dunderfile to get the parent and print it out. We've included a try accept name error block in case something goes wrong. Let's run the code. And as we've seen in the previous examples, this code works just fine. No big deal. However, Dunderfile is not defined in interactive Python sessions like the standard REPL idle or Jupyter Notebooks. Let's copy our same code into a Jupyter Notebook. If you type print Dunderfile directly into a Jupyter cell, you'll get a name error. This happens because in this environment, your code isn't loaded from a physical file in the traditional sense. Always wrap your Dunderfile usage in a try accept name error block or check for the condition if Dunderfile in globals to make your code more resilient. For the current working directory in these cases, path.cwd or os.getcwd are your friends. Next, a big improvement came in Python 3.9. Before that, Dunderfile could sometimes return a relative path, depending on how you launched your script. But since Python 3.9, Dunderfile always returns an absolute path. Even so, using Resolve is still the gold standard because it resolves any symbolic links giving you the true canonical path. If you're packaging your Python application into a standalone executable using tools like PyInstaller, good news, Dunderfile still works. For your main script, PyInstaller sets Dunderfile to an absolute path within the temporary directory where your application's contents are extracted at runtime. So using resolve.parent is still a reliable way to find bundled resources relative to your main script, even in a single executable file. Check out this video where you'll learn how to package your code as a standalone executable. Leave a like if you'll start using Dunderfile in your own projects. Thanks for watching and remember to always begin secure.